these are fortune stones um, and they're, they're here to guide you on a question. So this was a woman that I met who presses flowers mm -hmm. and she was talking about what she loves about flowers and she said when the flower dies, I see them in my garden and when they die they leave a seed and it's always the cycle of life oh, right. a new beginning. Mm -hmm. So when something ends, yeah. a door is always oh, open, open to, to something new. Yeah. Ah. And moss has a way of spreading its spores mm -hmm. long distances because it takes advantage of the wind. Mm -hmm. And it is singing. touch these words. and when it oh. rains it sings well. constantly <laughs> transforms with water. Mm -hmm. But we have different kinds of moths because this one here is different. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. I'd like to show you how moss absorbs water. Mm -hmm. So trees have veins yeah. which draws water from the earth um, to the leaves above. Mm -hmm. um, and they have their leaves have a waxy layer mm -hmm. on it and it just drops right off yep. to go back to mm. the earth and that's so that water doesn't evaporate mm -hmm. from the leaves but moss because it doesn't have veins vascular mm -hmm. system mm -hmm. it has to live very close to the ground mm -hmm. and its whole structure is designed mm. to absorb and hold water so the way that it's all clumped together yep helps to hold it, the way that all the leaves are formed, holds the water. You can take a look. You hold the lupe too, close to your eye. You look very closely and you can see how the water is held within its form. Mm -hmm. And these are all the different mosses in this garden. Mm. They have pretty funny names. The blue silk, wire moss and frizzy moss are all on this stone. Oh. 